This is Buzz Chomp, home of fitness and entertainment. We're talking about the top five moments from The Mandalorian season two. I'm Mandy. Come on this wild journey with me while I tell you what I loved about season two of The Mandalorian. Woo! These moments are in no particular order. Moment one, Timothy Oliphant. OMG loves OMG. I was super, super excited when Timothy Oliphant was announced as being part of The Mandalorian season two. A little bit of a bummer that he was just a one and done episode. But honestly, he was fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. He had Boba Fett's armor. He needed Mando's help. And him, Mando, and the Sand People defeated that big giant dragon and that explosion was amazing. And I just absolutely loved Timothy Oliphant. I would love for him to be back for season three. Number two, Baby Yoda and the Frog Lady. OMG. Baby Yoda, the Frog Lady, the Frog Lady's eggs made a big splash on the internet. There was controversy over should Baby Yoda be eating those eggs and was it genocide and blah, 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 blah. People were very, very upset about it. I myself thought the joke was funny, but maybe it went a little too far. But honestly, looking back on it, it was hilarious. I loved, loved, loved that Baby Yoda throughout the whole episode was eating those eggs, sneaking those eggs. And then the next episode, we see him bond with the little frog that birthed from the eggs. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. It was fabulous. It was a fabulous moment. It was hilarious. Number three, Mando taken off the helmet. He did it not once, but twice. That's right, twice this season. We saw it in back-to-back -back episodes that he took it off for Bill Burr's character, somebody that he hated, right? He had to. And then the last episode, right at the end, that he took it off for Baby Yoda and Baby Yoda felt his face. It was such a father-son moment. Ah, my own babies do that to me and I love it. I loved it, I loved it. I see him moving more toward Bo-Katan and Boba Fett where he takes his helmet off more often. I see that connection. I definitely, definitely think that he's not going to be as religious fanatic next season. Number four, that creepy crawler episode. The Frog Lady episode, again, was fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. His adventure to take her home to Trask and all of that. We see him try to outrun those strips that wanna find out who he is and he lands on this planet and there are all those spiders. It was definitely a very like creature feature type episode. I loved it. The stupidity of the Frog Lady for going and taking a bath and, you know, taking out her eggs, right? The stupidity of Baby Yoda for eating, again, another egg, that little spider egg and all of that and this whole thing. Loved it. The episode was fabulous. Our final one, our fifth, Luke Skywalker. This whole season, this whole season, it brought us to this moment of Baby Yoda reuniting with the Jedi, right? Who who did we think it was? In my mind, I thought, oh, it could be Luke Skywalker, but I really didn't think they were gonna go there. But they went there. They did the digital stuff that they did for Leia. I liked it. I'm still, like I've said in my video before, nervous for Baby Yoda. But remember, they said Ben Solo was Luke's first student, and Ben Solo right now is a little boy. So I'm hoping that maybe Baby Yoda decides he doesn't want to train or maybe leaves before Ben Solo comes. Badass, badass moment. Luke, the glove, the lightsaber. Oh, just coming there. I think the best, best thing would have been is if Mando yelled out at the end, who are you? And he said, I'm Luke Skywalker. That would have been awesome and flawless, but that's not how it happened. I'm Mandy. Subscribe to BuzzChomp for more of The Mandalorian and our sci-fi shows and share with me. What were your top five moments of season two? Yeah, kids, yeah. Thank <laughs> you.